Another video we discussed the manga industry, how it's overtaken the comic book industry. You know, it, comic books are dead. They are dead. And you know, the industry is going to try their darndest best to try to take over the Japanese manga industry by doing several things. And we already see this in other countries. We've seen bans of anime and manga. We've seen bans in Australia, Russia, France. Even here, there have been some issues on certain websites like eBay, Amazon, who have started to ban certain manga titles, anime titles, because uh, they're claiming, oh, it's child pornography and this this and that uh this shouldn't be put out but yet there's tons of other stuff that they have on their websites that are more dangerous i would say or more detrimental but yet they don't pull the they don't pull that so you gotta remember one thing if you censor something and then you complain that they're censoring something you like from from a corporate point of view in another country you know you're talk you're talking in two di different directions you'll censor one but yet you don't want your other one censored elsewhere and we're seeing from the ja from the japanese that they have been warning us they have been warning us the fans specifically that there is a threat from the West. There is a major threat from the West because you have a small group of people. And, and I keep saying this, this is a small group of people. And they're trying to change everything. They're trying to change the fandoms. They're trying to change the movie industry, the broadcast industry. They're trying to interject their own activist, you know, political activism. Because these they're activists that's what they are they're activists these are people who were brainwashed in college who's taken these gender study courses that basically they're they've been taught by teachers to hate this to hate that that people should not question if you basically say something to them that's incorrect that you can't question it but we're going to take this, uh, if you're familiar with Love Hina, Love Hina is a manga and, a, and an anime series that basically, you know, some people like, some people dislike because uh, of the content. But it happens to be pretty good. The person who is the author, uh, Man, please, I don't know if I butcher this name, Mankena Ken Akematsu, and we're going to read this off of uh, Bounding into Comics, perhaps best known for the, the manka behind the extremely popular Love Hina series, recently shared his concerns regarding the rising pressure from the West markets to introduce political correctness into manga and possibly negative effects such a push could have for the creators and fans across the medium. A vocal and outspoken anti-censorship critic in his own right broached the subject of political correctness during an opening panel of a recent manga artist MENA conference, an online event held last December, whereas various manga creators were invited to discuss their thoughts on the current state of the industry and their outlooks on the future. According to the machine translation, uh, when asked for his thoughts on uh, manga and the overseas market, he uh, Akamasus laughed and responded in short, it's politically correct. Political correctness, external pressure is coming, such as to introduce political correctness into manga and movies, the manga added. That's dangerous, isn't it? 
Then he explains, so far when the Japanese manga is at a stage of looking at the world, then pressured on the scene to meet more global standards, I like to have the manga artists unify their opinions to some extent as whether such things are correct or not, he continued. However, when the sales of the works have been globalized and no sharp edges are good, they end up saying, oh, political correctness might be good. No, it isn't. The veteran manga sentiments were echoed by co-panelist Takeyumo Kobayashi, the representative director of the publishing house Number no. 9 Corp, uh, which similarly opinion, the regar regardless of the company, I think that freedom of expression should be respected in my personal opinion. Remember, this is coming from a country that has different laws than this country. There are laws you would not believe that it's over there that would violate the First Amendment and several other that on uh, the Constitution. Not saying Japan is a bad country, but they have different rules and regulations when it comes when it's according some rules are similar to ours and there are others that are not but one thing that is very important is the freedom of expression and that's one thing that they, they push for that it must uh, not change in this country later remarked if you don't go abroad the political correctness problem isn't a battle at all which prompted Kobayashi to share his personal ideas that I don't think a series will sell that much when it comes to selling itself as politically correct the point is ma manga that was released without being consciously or political correctness cannot be read due to the political correctness problem said kobayashi i think it's a mess like a fire recalling on how he heard the excitement of hollywood movies is uh generally decided by script doctors and scenario doctors uh, he joked it from from now on i'll release various black and whites with political correctness in mind this is according that Hollywood wants to take some of these titles and make them into movies. We're already seeing this happen going on. And, you know, like I said before in another video, uh, Battle Angel, uh, excuse me, Battle Angel is one of the only movies that worked out. Everything else has failed. And we're going to discuss in another video, why does this keep going on and why haven't they run out of money and there is something major going on and it needs to be looked it needs to be investigated really because basically these people are putting money into projects that are known to fail but yet they'll still make money on the back end even though the, the movie is touted as a failure and they'll continue to make sequels and sequels and sequels because basically they know they don't want to take a chance anymore. They don't want to take a chance and create their own product to create, you know, there are plenty of in, individual independent producers and writers out there that has some great stuff that's been written and they won't touch it. They won't touch it with a 10 foot pole. It may be the same, no matter what you look at, like the Avengers conceded Ak Akimatsu, I don't know after after all it's a hit it's a hit depending on how you think of it in the turning to the debate of mass appeal versus artistic authenticity Akamutsu observed the one that hits may go to Hollywood but it is better to have the freedom of expressions that's correct you rather have the freedom of expressions and not be a major hit you know these people they said they want they want to make a you know, billion dollars off of it a billion dollars off of a property but yet people won't buy the side end stuff you have to remember there's also another part of this that people don't realize jack nicholson when he was hired to play the joker in batman part of his fee was a percentage of the back end of all the merchandising and he made some good money off of that because if you remember from the 80, 80s when batman was released with Michael Keaton, it did very well. People were getting their haircuts with the bat signal. You saw t-shirts, you saw hats, you saw tons of stuff out there that was Batman related. That's where you make your money truly. But the problem is most of these companies already that makes the merch already see that there is a problem that they're not going to make a profit off a lot of this stuff. That's why CBS, 
Star Trek doesn't have any really truly new merch because they already saw the problems with this and they refuse to make any new merch for CVS Bicom. Manga is mainly about freedom of expression and it feels like if you don't give it into the political correctness noted uh, before questioning, it is a loss if the political correct works. Get overwhelming power. I wonder if that means. However, reassured, Kobayashi reassured Atsumatsu, even if there's an ent- if, even if there's entertainment that goes against political correctness, it will be different if this remains the same 10 years later, 20 years, 30 years, and so on and so on. It wasn't fine five years ago. I was, re- I was told recently uh, this possibly that this will become the standard for the future is not zero, but it may change again. He concluded, that is why I think it is important not to win or lose in the short term but to always create something that you can be proud of as entertainment. Exactly. Continue to make these stories. This is why YouTubers, this is why YouTubers are popular right now. We haven't stopped making product. We haven't stopped making shows. There are some great YouTubers out there that are constantly making videos. They're making animated cartoons. Uh, They're making their own movies. They're making their own specials. They're making their own talk shows. You know, there there are some great stuff out there. You know, I talk about Friday Night Tights. Every Friday, I watch it itself. It is great. Yellow Flash has his live feed on the weekends. Then there's some stuff in between. There's there's Creature Features that shows on YouTube. Even though that's not independent, but it shows on YouTube and it's very well produced. Then you have others who sit there like Clownfish TV, Tim Pool, and many others that talk about many different subjects. And they do very well. What does YouTube do? Push them in the back and move the networks forward. CBS, NBC, ABC. You know, they think they're getting all the money from it. You can be... the. YouTube itself and Google could be making much more money than they can believe with the independent programming. This was what YouTube was created for independent producers, not the networks. And there's a ton of stuff on there. I touted one on Saturday pre-flight that there are some guys um, that sit there and talk about cartoons on Saturday morning. That they have, it's Saturday morning cartoons. It's special and they talk about they did problem child the cartoon series um, just this past week and they had uh, one of the people that worked with night flight if you remember night flight I don't know if any of you uh, especially my younger viewers if you've never seen night flight catch it they have their own website now but type in night flight you'll catch a couple pieces in YouTube it used to show some of the great independent stuff music films stuff that was submitted to night flight there were back then and this is prior to, to the height of the internet and MTV and stuff like that. Night Flight was there and they showed some, some independent stuff that was fantastic. And some great interviews from celebrities, uh, some great independent films constantly, week to week. It was always on the weekends, Friday and Saturdays. And uh, they also ran, I, I, I forgot that they ran, I think it was on NBC if you stayed up two, three o'clock in the morning and it ran like an hour of it. And it was always great. And this is what, when you look into the, to the manga industry and the anime industry, this is also great. There are those out there that, yeah, a lot of them are overworked, underpaid, and they should be paid better. And that's obvious. But there are those that are st- sticking with it day in, day out. To put out some good content. There are good manga artists and writers out there that have put out some great, great stories. And, you know, like it was said over the weekend on one of the YouTube channels. Can you remember any other than the main ones, like say Akira, Ghost in the Shell, can you mention any other anime that you could think of from that era or manga from that era that were real popular? Most people have forgotten it. 
They're still there. Galaxy Express, Ikusan, um, Angel Cop. Angel Cop has just gotten a big boost again because I think they re-released it on D on Blu-ray. And there are many others that are out there. Uh, uh, Dominion Tank Police. Uh, you know, there's so many out there. There's some great anime, some great stories that have been forgotten. In fact, we'll be discussing some of that on Saturday pre-flight in the, in the future weeks to come. I think toward the fall, we're, we're slating some stuff in for the uh, fall season that we'll be doing some uh, forgotten anime. We, you know, we've done the last couple episodes. Uh, uh, we just did a Toho one and we did a couple of others in the last couple of weeks. That These are movies that are forgotten. I just saw a movie... Uh, Tomb of the Bl Tombs of the Blind Dead. It's just a great, great horror flick. It's part of a series of film. Four, it's a four-part series movie from a Spanish-Portuguese director, and it, it, it's literally, you know, it's cheesy as it is, but it's brilliant in other ways, in lighting, special, in certain special effects. I mean, the dead to have uh, zombie. Uh, guys on horses with hoods over the head you didn't have to pay much for the for the face masks um as far as putting a lot of makeup on this you know you shoot it from a different direction all you have to do is have the front horsemen have the uh, dead face on them and the guys in the back all you gotta have is the hood hood down on them it's it's brilliantly done it's it's great if you haven't seen it it's, it's a great it's about like almost 200 dollars for the dvd box set on there and I know they're remastering tombs they're remastering and one other I think seagulls is the other one and the other two I think will eventually be remastered as well it's a brilliant brilliant the creature features had that on over the weekend but this is what goes on you know people want good content and you look to the perspective that there are those who want to destroy this so you have to ask yourself what can I do to keep this industry going? To keep these guys in check? Buy their product. Continue to buy the product. Even if Amazon bans it and eBay, there are plenty of other places to do. Go to your local comic book shop. Talk to your comic book store owner. They'll probably order it for you. You might have to pay a little extra. Go to a Barnes & Noble. Go to your local bookstore. They, the manga sections are increasing every day as the comic book sections are getting smaller in the bookstores. Walk into a Barnes & Noble. Look how much manga they have now. And there are stores in certain places of the country. Uh, we have one here and one in New Jersey. Uh, the one in New York City is right, right in the center of Manhattan. That's down in the 40s across from Bryant Park. And that's three floors of Japanese stuff, manga, anime, anything from Japan, and it is a great place to visit. It's got a little Japanese cafe in there too. So continue to support these guys. Buy, buy, buy. You know, tell people, pass it on to others. Tell people, say, "Well, why are you reading that? That's got to be racist and something." No, it's not. Read it. It's good. It's 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 a good story. There are there are great tales in this. Well, it's not diverse. It's not, oh, no, 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 you read it. You'll find out. There are certain ones that are, you have to remember. People say that ja Japanese stuff is never, it's made in Japan. If I was in Latin America, my stories would have Latin Americans in it. You know, might have some dark skinned people in there. Wouldn't have any Asians. Wouldn't have any Germans. You know, so this whole thing with saying, hey, we got to have diverse. It's bullshit. It's, 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 just, it's just another con job given to the public by those who are trying to control the system. Because all you got to do is sit there and Google, do a little research, or go on DuckDuckGo, and you'll find, you'll find all these diverse stories. So you've reached this part of the video. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share this video. 
I know you might hear some noise in the background. We have that air conditioning going, as we said in another video. It has been hot. So my message to you is make sure you keep hydrated. Keep cool. You know, hit that beach. Maybe cook at, at a barbecue, order out. You know, don't cook in. Keep the house cool. Keep the lights out. Don't use too much electricity. And enjoy. Enjoy. Take in something from the anime or manga industry. You might enjoy it. And until next time, thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye now.